Hello, in this video we will examine three types of pulley systems. Pulleys are used to change the direction or change the magnitude of a force. It can be applied in both cases to modify the magnitude and the direction for strengthening exercises, mechanical traction, and functional tasks involving lifting heavy objects. The three types of pulleys that we will be looking are single fixed pulley, movable pulley, and anatomic pulley. Single fixed pulley only changes a force's direction, not the magnitude of a force. Let's take a look at this image. The gravitational force is pulling the object down with 10 newtons of force. We can use a single fixed pulley to change the direction of the object and pull the object up instead. But it will still require 10 newtons of force to perform the task. A movable pulley will change both force's direction and the magnitude. Here we have 10 newtons of force pulling the object down. Just as in the previous example, we will change the direction of a force by pulling the object up. We will also change the magnitude of a force. Half of the weight is supported by the rope attached to the stationary hook and the other half by the rope on the pulley's left side. If we were to pull the weight up using the rope on the left, we would only pull with 5 newtons of force instead of 10. And finally, the anatomic pulley. These single pulley systems may change the direction of the tendon without changing the applied force's magnitude. But a change in action line will increase the internal moment arm of the muscle thus leading to an increased ability to produce internal torque. So let's take a look at one specific example. Patella, the largest sesamoid bone in the body, serving as a pulley for quadricep muscle. First, let's remind ourselves of the formula to produce torque. Torque equals length of the moment arm times force. The larger the moment arm, the more torque the muscle will be able to generate. So let's apply this. The axis of rotation of the knee joint is located through femoral condyles. Without the patella, the line of pull of quadriceps would lie parallel to the tibia and femur. The internal moment arm for quadriceps lies in the space between the muscle's vector and the joint's axis. Note the internal moment arm here is one centimeter. However, the patella is embedded in the quadricep tendon. It pushes the tendon away from the femur, changing the angle of the patella tendon and changing the line of pull of the quadriceps away from the knee joint angle. Now, the internal moment arm is increased to almost two centimeters, thus increasing the amount of torque produced by the quadriceps. Some other examples of anatomic pulley are condyles of the phalanges, femoral neck, medial malleolus, lateral malleolus, and the acromion process. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe.